Let's go to grind 75 and look at valid parentheses. Let's blow that away. All right, let's actually, let's commit these changes. Git do this. Git at source, git commit, hash m. Problem one, two sum. Okay. Uh, given a string s containing just the characters open, close, open brace, close brace, open square, close brace, square, term if this input string is valid. So they have to be closed by the same type of brackets. They have to be closed in the correct order. And every close bracket has, has a corresponding open bracket. Okay. I mean, I don't know how hard that would be. So, uh, you know, source lib. Let me throw this in here, pub mod, and this is number 20, okay. Should I, have, should I have started with four digits of numbers here? Valid parenthesis. Use colon, colon star. Oh, and now we don't have this here. Oh, I don't want that either. That's too bad. That doesn't wrap properly. Okay. Okay, so we grab the function signature as just a string. Okay, uh, return false, get it to build. Yep, okay, so now all we need to do is write the code. So test mod, our first test is gonna be the x1. I'm gonna say uh, is valid. Oh, we're gonna just do an assert. Is valid of open close to string, like that. And that should fail, and it does. What if I put this like this? Be easier to see the failing tests. All right, so now we just need to write it. Um, <clears throat> so we need to create a stack, basically, and work our way through the stack. And then whenever we see an open, we push it on the stack, and whenever we see a close, we just check that it's the right thing on the stack. So if we, we can create a stack by just saying let mod stack equals, and it's going to be a stack of, I guess, strings. So we can just say to string. And then we work our way in through the, uh, the string. And then whenever we see an open paren, we want to push stack dot push a close paren right and whenever we see an open square we push a close square and then whenever we see an open squirrely we push the corresponding close and then what we can do for the close ones or square or curly brace, we say um, we want to pop if let some, um, let's call it the matching pair. I don't want to call it pair. Let's call it M. I can't use mat, the word match, but I can use pair, stack, pop then we want to check to see if m is equal to ch oh is m is not equal to ch then we can return false so in other words we're popping the thing off the stack when we see a close and it has to match exactly um, is that all we need to do if we can't pop it off the stack if there's nothing on the stack, if the stack is empty at this point, then we also want to return false. So maybe we should do that first here. Uh, or we can just say else here, right? Return false. That's a little awkward, but that does the trick. And then oops, let's close that. Indent that properly. And then we need to do a this. Um, 
I guess if we have an invalid character, we should return false. And then here, after we're done looping through everything, we should have popped everything off the stack. Um, so that means we have return stack len equals zero. Okay, so that passes this guy. Negvorsis says not reachable. I think this is reachable only because we, we will run out of chars at some point. Um, if we have an open paren and then we come down here and then we have a closed paren, that'll pop and not return false. Then we'll come back here and there won't be any more and then we'll fall down here and then stack lens should be zero. Um, test P. Um, so this is X2 and we'll say is valid. And what do we have? This, this, and this string. Okay, does that test pass? It does. And then we'll do our final test here. Test. Uh, EX3. And this is not valid. So not is valid. Open paren close square. Q string. Now we're not testing an empty empty thing and that should test as well. We should test that as well because I bet you that's going to come up. Test empty string. I don't see why it wouldn't work, but it should be valid. To string. Yep, that passes right there. Okay. Um, let's copy paste our code. So we just grab all this. Copy. Um, we'll do here, paste, tab it over to make it indented properly, and then click Submit. Ran in 2 milliseconds, which is faster than 41.12% of Rust online submissions. And it uses 2 megabytes. Wow. Less than 77%. What are other people doing to do the matching? that takes up more, more memory.